What is up, YouTube? And I am back with another explosive break in the Young Thug case. Man, this is getting crazier and crazier by the day. I, to be honest, I almost feel like I'm living in some sort of simulation or something. Like, this is wild. This is getting crazier every single day. All right, so now there is a sixth person, apparently that's taken a plea deal in the case, who is Antonio Sumlin, better known by the street name as Bin Laden, who's been carrying out hits against YFN Lucci. And yeah, apparently he's the latest one to take a, uh, a plea deal in the case, in the YSL Rico case. So, so I'm going to play this clip so y'all can check this out, man, and see for yourself. He possessed or transport a firearm or use a firearm in a crime, you will be guilty of a felony which may carry a sentence of one to 15 years in prison. Yes, ma'am. Do you understand that you waive any and all defenses, including any mental health defenses, by entering a plea of guilty? Yes, ma'am. Do you understand that if you went to trial, you have the right to a trial by jury, the right to see, hear, and confront witnesses called to testify against you, and the right to testify to remain silent and not incriminate yourself? Yes, ma'am. Do you understand that by pleading guilty, you are giving up the following rights? And after each right, I want you to answer if you understand that. Right? Yes. Uh, first, the right to a trial by jury. Yes. The next, the right to remain silent and not commit yourself. Yes, ma'am. The right to hired by you or support appointed counsel if you cannot afford a trial in your case. Yes, ma'am. The right to the presumption of innocence. Yes, ma'am. The right to testify on your own behalf and to present other evidence. Yes, ma'am. Is your decision to waive these rights and to guilty plea because you're a fat guilty? Yes, ma'am. With respect to indictment 22 SC 183572, where you're charged with count one, conspiracy to violate the Racketeer Influence and Corrupt Organizations Act, count 47, conspiracy to commit a crime, count 48, participation in criminal street gang activity, and count 55, conspiracy to commit a crime. How do you plead guilty or not guilty? Guilty. Is this guilty plea freely and also given with the full knowledge of the charges against you? Yes, ma'am. Do you understand that you have only a limited right to appeal this guilty plea conviction? Yes, sir. All right. Before signing this indictment, did you have the opportunity to fully discuss all of the facts and circumstances therein with your attorney, Mr. Hoover, to your satisfaction? Yes, sir. Is there anything about the indictment you wish to ask me or ask any questions about? No, sir. All right. I'll note the indictment has been signed and the plea has been entered. Uh, Mr. Sumlin, based upon the responses that you've given during the court's inquiry, I find that your guilty plea is freely and voluntarily entered. I find a factual basis for your plea. I'm going to accept your plea as tendered and it's negotiated. Uh, as it pertains to you in count one, that's conspiracy to violate the Racketeering Influence and Corrupt Organizations Act. This court will sentence you to 15 years to serve on probation subject to the special conditions uh, that have been set forth on the record already uh, in terms of your plea. And I'll go over some of those with you in just a minute. As it pertains to count 47, conspiracy to commit a crime, murder, this court will sentence you to 15 years to serve on probation subject to the special conditions. Count 48 is participation in criminal street gang activity, YSL. This court will sentence you to 15 years to serve on probation subject to the special conditions uh, already set forth. And on count 55, as it pertains to you, conspiracy to commit a crime, murder, uh, this court will also sentence you to 15 years to serve probation subject to the special conditions therein. All counts, counts 1, 47, 48, and 55, will run concurrently to you. That means that uh, concurrent means they run at the same time, okay? Yes, sir. All right. As part of your uh, this particular plea in this particular case, you understand that you need to abide in full by each of the terms of your negotiated agreement between you and the state. You understand that? Yes, sir. You also understand if you fail to do so that that would may constitute a violation of your agreement. Yes, sir. You also agree that you'll testify truthfully about any and all matters in regards to this case if you are further asked in any judi further judicial proceeding um, stemming from the facts and circumstances in this indictment. However, you reserve your right to assert your Fifth Amendment privilege against self-incrimination. Is that correct? All right. You heard it yourself. I don't even got to say no more. You heard the judge. You heard the prosecutor. 
All we can do now is wait and see what's going on, man. This is getting explosive, man. I'm talking. Oh, man. I can't believe it. I don't know, man. I want to hear from you guys on this one. I've been seeing a lot of back and forth online about, you know, rather these guys are snitching or rather, you know, this is something Thug told them to do or I don't know, man. It seems to me like everybody's doing the same thing. So maybe these guys got something up their sleeve. Maybe something is going to happen in this case and Thug is going to get out too. I don't know, man. We don't know. We're all sitting by watching. I don't want to go and pass judgment on anybody and say, oh, these guys are snitching. This is what's going on. I'm not going to label these guys snitches and say that. I'm from the street. I know how street code work, and I know how the street things go. So I'm not just going to say these guys are snitching as of now. I don't know, man. Maybe these guys know something that we don't know. Maybe the lawyers are filling them in on something, some type of loophole. Because, hey, this is a new law. This new whole little RICO Act law thing, this is all new. So maybe there's still loopholes and ways to get around this all new law that they just created in order to take down all these rappers. So I'm not going to say that because I don't know. Maybe the, who, who knows? Maybe the lawyer told these guys about a loophole or something that they're going to try to use in order to get thug out as well. And all of these guys are going to get off with just probation. Who knows? It may go down like that. So let's not be so quick to write these guys off and say, oh, they snitching. Oh, this here. and Oh, you can't say this. And oh, you can't say that. Right. We don't know. We don't know. So all we can do is wait it out and see at this point, all right? But from the looks of it, man, it looks like things are going sour for Young Thug by the day. From the facial expressions in court, just everything, man. It's just a crazy situation. You see early on in the case that they threw out um, the phone tap evidence because they did it illegally. So I don't know, man. It's, it's, it's kind of shaky. It's kind of shaky. You got the, the, you got the, the prosecutors, the state, they're doing something. I don't know, man. It's getting kind of shaky, man. You got people doing all type of funny things in the case and, you know, doing illegal type of things to, to take people down. So I don't know, man. Hey, man, what do you think? Jump in the comments, man. Jump in the likes, man. Let me know what you think is going on. Do you think this is something planned or the lawyers have figured out some type of loophole or something to get around this RICO act? Because it's all new, man. It's all new. It looks pretty shaky now, like everybody's telling, but we don't know. We don't know the outcome of this case. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. But jump in the comments and jump in the likes and let me know what you think. Let me know your take on it. If you ain't from the streets and you don't know nothing about none of this, then don't jump in the comments just saying what you think is, 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 is going to happen. Let's not do that. But, uh, hey, if you know or you know something about it or you got some cousins that done been up the road that done been through this same situation or something, man, speak on it. Let me hear from you. As always, man, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe. I'm going to keep making these videos. I'm going to be doing other things, too. So if you guys want to learn how to make flyers and do graphics and edits and stuff like that, then definitely subscribe to this channel. I got a lot in store. Thank you, guys.